uh, let's come to know about the story today so mr kamlal mr aramlal and mrs dhanwati so dhanwati kamlal and aramlal they discuss the three of them discuss that let's start a business and finally they decided that yes they are going to start a company and they named the company as pk company pk paise kamao company so when they started they invested some of the monies like mr kamlal invested rupees 1 lakh aramlal rupees 3 lakh and dhanwati rupees 4 lakh so they invested these amounts for their business for their company and after they invested they also planned to hire some managers and directors so that they will handle all the dealings of the company so they started to hire the managers and directors to controlling their business affairs or the company affairs which were whichever will go through right so mr kamlal mr aramlal and mrs dhanwati what they have become they have become the owners who are they they are the owners they have become the owners or the shareholders they have become the shareholders of the company so the the person who starts the business who invest the business they become the owner of the uh, owners of the shareholders so they are the shareholders or the owners of the company and they appointed some of the managers here we can say some of the managers or the directors given they are the managers or the directors and when they started the company they have come through many um, uh, factors like uh, they were in short of some uh, money or they were facing some issues so they needed some money in between so what they did they have borrowed some of the monies from some of the lenders or the creditors so here you can see they have lent uh, they have borrowed some of the monies and they have Uh, assured them that they will definitely pay them back after going through all the procedures and everything the lenders and the creditors have given the money to the company so they have become the creditors and after these people uh, other people who is involved in the company who will look after the companies all sorts of income how much the company is in uh, um, is uh, benefiting from this uh, whatever business source is going on what is the profit out of it or what is the loss out of it and what is the level of investment in the company based on that there is some rules and regulations for the companies and accordingly the government and the regu- regulatory agencies will charge the taxes to them like the vat income tax or the custom and uh, excise duties and um, different uh, creditors and everything means uh, who have the invested on the company uh, they will also look after the uh, government and regulatory agencies rules and regulations based on that so this is the basic uh, story that we came to know that who all are involved in the company company starts with the owners or the shareholders they appoint some of the managers and directors to control it even the employees are also the part of the business and many more people are also there but some of the main basic factors who are involved here are creditors managers directors shareholders owners and the government and regulatory agencies we can see some of the regulatory agencies given here like registrar of companies irdai that is the insurance regulatory and development authority of india customs and central excise government of india and rbi that is reserve bank of india so they will also have a complete uh, interest to know about the company's uh, income how much the company is going to pay for their taxes and everything that they will keep a check on that whether the company is paying that or not okay so these are the uh, government and regulatory agencies that will look after your company so based on this we have seen that many people are included in the business affairs and they all need the information so how these information they are going to even the owners and shareholders after they invest it in the company definitely they also need the information what kind of information they will need whether their invested money are actually being benefited or not it is actually giving a proper return to them or not or it is only just going on a waste right and whether they should invest or not all these things they will come to know after getting the information and these informations will be provided by the accounting 
so accounting information as i told you there are interested users so these are the interested users and why or what kind of information they need will come to know in the next video